Is modern life making you rage clean the kitchen? Ask the Snarkerellas for advice. They're the Cinderellas of Snark. Listeners are advised that this podcast contains strong language and adult themes. Discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the Snarkerellas. Do you feel like you're not being heard? Are your knickers in a twist? Or is something really pissing you off? Well, this is the podcast for you. Hi, I'm Snark and we're having a very, very special edition today. We're in Jen's bunker. Jen is a friend of the podcast and we're going to be discussing a whole lot of things. Firstly, we're going to do the shit list. You up for it? I'm ready for the shit list. And then we're going to, now normally we wouldn't go into detail about these things, but honestly on my list at the moment is the royal family, the British royal family. Ooh, what's going on over there? Protecting a pedophile. Really? Yes. And um, as well as that, we're going to be talking about Matt Lauer, who used to be the anchor of Today in the USA. Um, he put out a particularly offensive letter defending his sexual himself against sexual assault claims. Now, that's come on top of Mia Farrow's son, Ronan Farrow, He's an amazing investigative journalist. He's just put a book out about how he uncovered Weinstein and Lauer. I've started reading that. It is an incredibly good read. Yes, it is. Um, Now, it's hard to get in Australia so um, because there's an Australian involved in it. His name is Dylan Howard and he was the editor of the... Inquirer? Yes, the National Inquirer. And they've got dirt files on everyone. Uh, what I understood was that they were possibly blackmail in waiting, that they collect stuff. And if you don't do what we want, we can release this type of thing. Alleged, alleged, alleged. <laughs> yes, so we're going to be talking about those two things because um, I found every time Weinstein or Lauer or sexual harassment in the media comes up, I get triggered. So I'm going to talk about it today and this is the last time I will ever mention my personal experience of sexual harassment because I'm closing the door. Because let's face it, no one's going to apologise. They're not going to apologise and most of the, the blokes who do this, they honestly don't see what they did is wrong. They will never change. The chances of re-educating them and opening their eyes is zilch. So we're just using all our energy and winding ourselves up, banging on about them when they're not going to change. Let's turn and focus to the younger generations. So those boys, our Mm. sons, our nephews, our neighbour kids, the young blokes in the workforce, so that they understand what's right. It's too late for these old dinosaurs and they're getting angry because of it as they're seeing the Me Too and everything and they're getting pissed off and you know what? Good. Triggered. Triggered. They are triggered. And they just show themselves like to be absolutely um, intellectual dinosaurs. They just haven't moved with the times. A lot of Mm. them are still stuck in the 1950s where wifey stays home, wifey gets pin money, and they make all the decisions. Well, no, the world's moved on. It has. And I do think Me Too is one of the most significant things to have happened in our lifetimes. Um, My mother's generation had the pill. We got me too. Yes, absolutely. And September 11. I put them both on the same bar. Yeah. So um, first we'll get into the shit list and I'll tell you what's been going on. Um, We have as number one, people are tired. You're always tired. I'm always tired. I'm always tired. And yet we've had the whole change of daylight savings. We should be over it by now. You know, that loss of an hour, but we're not. Do you think it's a um, pre-exhaustion for um, Halloween night? And Christmas and everything. I forgot about that, Christmas. So stressful, isn't it? It's hot. Have you started Christmas shopping? Well, I'm going to America in a couple of weeks, so I'm going to the outlets in Vegas. (gasps) You're going to go and get, you know, married to some weird stranger in Vegas? Should I? I have to ask my husband. But maybe yeah, yeah. isn't that what you're supposed to do? Go and get um, 
a really bad tramp stamp tattoo, fire a gun and get married in Vegas? Well, it worked for Britney Spears. Oh, I'd do it. You'd do it? Oh, fuck it. But does that make me a bigamist? Well, no, because it doesn't count. It's Vegas. It's Vegas because my grandfather was a bigamist. Ooh, really? And he also shot machine guns at Nazis as well. He lived quite an interesting life. Sort of balances itself out there, doesn't it? And I worked out the other day why I get so pissed off about things. He was thrown into a military prison for being disobedient and giving mouth. And I realised I'm the granddaughter of Jack Machine Gun Wilson. So basically, you had no hope. You were going to be a mouthy bitch. I was going to be a shit stirrer. Mm. So, and I'm going to stir a little bit today. Now, anxiety. Oh, my constant companion. Do you get anxious? I do. Yep. I do. But it's always there. In the background, humming yeah. around. Humming around. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. It's like the dog next door constantly barking. It's just there. You have to try and step away, ignore it. I have been doing um, sound bell meditation. What's that? Do you sit under a pyramid? I wish I did. Oh, that'd be cool. No, it's an app. Oh. Calm. It's called Calm. And you get a whole choice of things. But I find what's good, I just some. I read something about if you uh, put music on, it changes what goes on in your brain, brain mm. waves and things. So I just often put a bit of rainforest on. So my usual turntable spins of hardcore punk music probably isn't helping my anxiety oh but if that is it pumping you up because i had a bit of rock on when i came over here i needed to be pumped up i don't know does it make you feel satisfied and happy i want to smash things well that could work mm. maybe if you went to a demolition yard mm. you can actually do that in vegas you can get on like an excavator and smash it. Really? Drive through something and push it down? Yeah. I want to come. Well, you can. You can. Um, but we're not staying at the Trump Hotel. Can we get matching tats? I don't like pain, but I'll get a fake one. Oh, okay. Um, you might actually find me annoying because I the only reason why I want to go there is I want to go to a canyon. I always wanted to go in the American desert. A canyon? Stand on the edge and yell? Yes. Yes. Hopefully hear coyotes. Ooh. And the I want to see the odd tumbleweed. You I get that. Someone told me we have tumbleweeds in Australia. We do. Yeah. Where? Out Wobble. Oh, out yeah. near Walgett or something. Yeah, right out. Yeah. Okay. Um, so money, a couple of people are annoyed about money. Yeah, Medicare, my gov apps, blah, blah, blah. So I've gone from owing the government to them owing me so I can give them back that money for my other robo-debts. This robo-debt thing is just going to explode. I know, I know. I wonder if they bankrupt people over it. Well, people have killed themselves over it. Yeah, I know. And I wonder if they can shadow you. They can for fraud, but what if you've just got no money and you're stuck?